Sushi Maker Guitar Works. How's it going today? So we're back with the uh, Gretsch for Frankie Joe and uh, getting ready to cut into it. So what I've done is I've marked here with tape uh, one piece on each side where the strings sit. So that way I'll be able to center the pickup. But before I can do any of that, I have to remove this original beautiful Gretsch pick guard. So I'll start by doing that. And this just had a speed nut on the back of it, which is a little strange, but tis what it is. That looks like an old uh, screw out of like the dashboard of a car or maybe an outlet or something. Yeah, that's what it is. It's out of an outlet. And this one uh, looks like a door trim screw maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, hey, it worked. So, got the pick guard out of the way. Set that up there. I'm actually, I think I'm going to take this one out too, just to keep it out of the way. I actually see a spot of binding here. I'm going to probably do a little epoxy fill on and it's in pretty bad shape right here. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare in this place but right there. And I apologize for the lighting on some of my videos because I've got fluorescent lights in here and they're really bright. But uh, anyway, so let me grab the pickup and we'll see how we're going to lay it out here. Alright, so I've grabbed the pickup and I've laid it on here. It's under string tension actually, holding it down, so that's not a bad thing. And it's still got the plastic cover on it, so I'm not going to scratch the pickup. Um, but now I can kind of see where I have to mark for my cutout. And, sorry, trying to make sure it's perfectly centered here. Popped it off of where it was sitting before. Yeah. So next thing I'll do is I'm not gonna I'll come back after I do it, but I'm gonna run a tape line around the edge of the bottom side of the pickup. That way I know where I have to cut. So uh, then we will go from there. So I'll bring you back when that is when we're to that point, and we can uh, cut away. One thing I was gonna tell you about this before I ever start to cut on it is the brace on both sides runs right here. Uh, this is the, the scary part about doing this to these guitars is you have to actually notch the brace. And if you take too much out of it, then it can uh, ruin your guitar, basically. So what I usually do is I leave about uh, nine, half, nine sixteenths of an inch between the bridge and the edge of the pickup when I put the pickup in. And then I, after I cut the hole, I actually shape a piece of mahogany or maple, whatever I have. I have mahogany today. Uh, that, well, actually I have walnut today that I'll probably use, but uh, it will go in between the two braces and give that support uh, to help with where we cut it out and so anyway that's one of the scariest parts of doing this 
to this style of guitar. But I'll bring you back when we're marked out and ready to cut and we'll go from there. Okay, so one thing I decided to do that I did, I'm doing differently than I did the last time is decided to actually put these screws in to hold the pickup in place while I mark it. That way I know it's not going to move. Screws are my biggest complaint with these Duncan Antiquity pickups is the screws are just horrible. They're made of genuine Chineseium and they uh, one little slip with the screwdriver if you're not careful and they come out uh, you, you're not getting them out because there's uh, the head is screwed so for lack of a better term but anyway, now I will mark where it's going to go, and I'll bring you back for that. Alright, so we're back. We got it marked out here. So now I'll take the pickup back out of its mounting holes. These screws are about three and a half miles long also. Long Chinesium screws are never a good thing. See more Duncan as much as you, your pickups cost and the quality of your pickups, you should include better screws. Alright, so. This is my cut line. On the inside here. This is my cut line on the inside of here. Cut there. So I used to write in T's for my name instead of an arrow. So, now I have it marked where I need to cut it out. And I went just a little bit smaller and then I'll take a file when I, uh, after I get it all cut out. So the first thing I do is I drill holes in the four corners or close to the four corners as I can get. This side we miss the brace. This side we hit the brace. So, uh, that way I know where the bracing is at and where to cut. So I don't know if you can see it, but these holes, they're going all the way through. And these holes here are hitting on that inside brace. And it looks like we're on the outer edge of it because I can poke down through on this side, but not over here. So. Uh, these braces don't run parallel, they're, they're kind of angled and they're in different spots on the guitar on the, the bass side and the treble side. So uh, it's not like they're, you know, running right straight down the middle and we can judge where that's going to be. Alright, so we're back and I'm about to cut the hole. What I've got is my Dremel here with a diamond wheel on it. And this metal diamond wheel will pretty much cut through anything. Uh, but I feel safer using that than just a regular uh, Dremel style cutoff wheel. Got my danger glasses on here. And I'm going to find a good cutting speed.
basement. It's old wood. should have a hole in the top of a 1967 Gretsch. We do. Right there is the brace. This one we missed by about, oh, I'd say an eighth of an inch. So now I'm going to have to deal with clearancing here on the brace for the pickup. And uh, I'll come back and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I got a freshly sharpened or freshly honed I should say gouge and basically I'm just going to kind of chip away at this a little bit here try and get the, the piece of the top off first Skew chisel. Well, this one will work. Ever so gently, when you're going across the grain, it's really easy to slip. I could go with the grain, I guess, but... Alright, so there's our brace. So I'm trying to take as little as possible off of this brace, just enough to give us clearance. Clearance, clearance for the uh, pickup. Because this is, you know, the, the structure of the guitar. kicked you. Sorry guys. Take my little 
cutters here and cut off the fibers in the corner. And we should be pretty close to where we need to be. So with that, uh, let's take it out to the other bench and we'll test fit the pickup. All right, so I pulled the fad and uh, as my wife would call it, and I cut it on the inside line where the string was marked instead of the outside line that I had marked cut. So that was smart of me. So I had to go back and cut it and it does surely hit the brace on this side. So we are gonna have, I notch this one out. I'll have to notch this one out a little bit more. But I'm also, my hole's about a sixteenth all the way around too small. So I'm gonna have to clearance the hole a little more around the outside. Uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to mount the pickup and uh, tell you how it was done. Alright guys? Alright, I'm back and I got this all cut out here. Didn't have to notch it as far on this side of course, but uh, this side I had to notch it a little more because you got your area for your, uh, your ground wires and stuff on the back of the pickup. But she fits in there nice and tight and when I tighten down those uh, uh, pickup screws up against the top and then I'll cut the uh, corner of the pick guard out in order to uh, fit around that P90 and it will look like it's always been there. So anyway, I will bring you guys back when uh, it comes time to uh, doing all the wiring mods and uh, getting everything ready for that. And thanks for watching. As always, if you like what you see, give that thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys. Have a good day.